So you want to tame thylacoleals. Well, let's jump into it. Whatever your reason for taming thylacoleals are, um, if you've been following my leveling up videos, you may be wanting them for the like get you know, to hit level 100 faster. So you may be trying to do this early game, and all you have is access to some of the uh, you don't have kibble or anything like that. So take a little bit longer. All right. So what do you need? Well, one you need to know where to find the thylacoleals at. If you don't know, they're in the redwoods. All right. And so let's pull up the redwoods here. So as you can see, the Redwoods is about center of the map, and it's this area on the map that's all painted with a red ground. And they can be anywhere on these big red side of these big redwood trees. So you want to be careful when in the Redwoods looking for them, because they can pounce out of them and tackle you and kill you <laughs> pretty easily. Uh, the best thing probably is to have a Argy if you're looking early game. If you already have a Quetzal, Quetzals are great because you can put a box on your Quetzal over your character, and then you can't get tackled off. But uh, without a Quetzal, Argies are probably your next best bet because you can put them on follow and neutral and they can protect you if you get tackled by a Thylo. So while searching through the redwoods for a Thylocolio, you'll want to be up kind of high so they can't pounce on you and kind of looking down at the side of the trees to see if they're standing on the side. Now, there's a trick to finding them this way. You can use, I'll put it in the description below, hit the tilde key and then type show space instance in the capital F and you'll see it'll show it'll just bring it up for you show instance foliage I use it tab hit enter and boom I know it looks bad right <laughs> but check this out all right so as you can see there's a thylo clinging to a redwood tree right there right uh, trees of course we can't see the trees but he's right there ah all right spyglassing from the back of an RG is a pain But this way you can see where they are and you don't get tackled off your bird. All right, and once you have a thylo located that you want to tame, it's time to set up the thylo trap. All right, and what is a thylo trap? Well, pretty much like everything else we've been taming, the easiest thing to use is going to be three, three to four dino gates. I can probably get away with three with a thylo. It's not too... It doesn't fly or anything like that. Uh, as you notice, the Redwood's full of raptors and other dangerous things, so having a dino with you that can fight is going to be good. Ah, uh, yeah, and there's micro raptors, which adds to the danger. And as you can see, the RG just protected me. Alright, so you'll definitely want some parachutes, just in case you get hit by a micro raptor or a thylo while you're up high. You can activate a parachute to reduce the damage you take. Now, of course, that we have a thylo located, we want to go ahead and turn the... Uh, Everything back on, so we hit tilde, same thing, show, space, instanced, F for foliage, and there we go, we get instance foliage, turn it back on. <laughs> Look at that. Alright, so we know the Thylea was over there in a tree, and now we just set up a trap to draw him back to. And there's Trudons and everything else, the Redwoods is a horrible place. So not only would it be beneficial to have parachutes on you, it'd be beneficial to have a bed and possibly uh, sleeping bags. Uh, just in case something goes wrong. Uh, apparently Trudons can jump now. Wow, he jumped and tried to hit me on the back of the... Oh, that's uh, a little bit scary there. So, we'll do we'll do four again, just to be safe. And again, you don't want to spread it too far, because you don't want the Thylo to be able to get out, but you still want to be able to get out. So, place them, just like the RG trap. Right, so... We can still fit through there, but the thylo shouldn't be able to fit through that. All right. If you want to save some materials, you can just do three. All right, but I like to set up four. And then, of course, just two gates. One on the very front, and one on the very back. Now, the thylo is going to try and tackle you um, when you go to find it. So, it's better to shoot it from a distance. Uh, so, at this point, a long neck would be beneficial. Uh, if you're good with crossbow, you can hit it with a crossbow from a long ways away. Alright, so now we got the trap down. What do you need to knock a thyla out? Well, you're going to need 45 to 50 rounds on your crossbow. Always bring extra, uh, just in case you miss. Or 32 to 35 rounds on uh, trank dart. Of course, bring extra in case you miss. Alright, so let's go find the thyla, and then we'll go over the uh, types of meat and stuff you'll need to have as well. Alright, so we'll shoot the Thyla and get to chase us into the trap. It's going to be a little risky with the RG. We don't want RG getting attacked. 
So you, we need, may want to set the RG off kind of a little bit safe here. Put some sleeping bags down, beds down. Uh, that way, if we die, <laughs> we'll be, we can come right back. Isla's are really, really dangerous. It's a danger kitty. So, well, Isla's right there on the side of the tree. We can just bring him to our trap. Now, he's not going to curl into the, turn into the trap very well because he's kind of got a wider turn radius. So we want to pull him a little bit this way and then run him down into the trap. But they are fast, so be ready for that. All right, and we can use the crossbow. That's probably what you'll have at this point. Where is he? Somewhere. Got it. Right now, he'll drop out and start running at me. Uh, he's kind of slowly flying toward me, I guess. There he is. Run, 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 because he's going to make me bleed. This is going to hit hard. Get him in the trap. Okay, we got him in the trap. Now we need to close the door. Uh, but he's stuck inside of me, so I'm going to die. So, yeah. <laughs> Good to have sleeping bags down. Get the door closed. And we'll get out of the trap. Woo! Good thing we had a flak armor on. Alright. And now for the purpose of the video, we're going to be aiming at level 150. Anything above level 90 should be okay. If you're trying to kill titans, the higher the level, the better. Because uh, you want them to be able to survive a couple of hits from the titan. Because things go wrong. Alright. Uh, so dark in here. It's kind of hard to see the <laughs> in this cage. But yeah, we so we can shoot them. Alright, start knocking them out. Like I said, it'll take uh, 45, should take around 45 crossbow rounds. Now, once we get the thigh little knocked out, a few things to be aware of is the uh, torpor drain time is 18 minutes. Alright, it takes 174 narcotics to refill the torpor, or 928 berries to refill the torpor. If you use narcotics, it takes 23 minutes for the torpor to reach full and start draining again. If you use narco berries, it takes 46 minutes for the torpor to fill up and start draining again. So berries are going to be slightly better to use. But how long does the Thylio take to tame? If you're using raw meat, it takes 282 raw meat to tame them. And 8 hours and 48 minutes. And it's a, and it's a horrible at taming effectiveness. If you use prime meat, it's 141 prime meat. It's pretty hard to collect all raw, right? And keep good. And that takes 4 hours and 24 minutes. So it seems like you wouldn't want to do this gun until you have kibble, right? But kibble needs extraordinary kibble. And it takes 8 extraordinary kibble and 25 minutes to tame them. So when you're wanting to get some breeding thylios going on, uh, kibble will be great. Another cool thing about the thylios is you can pick them with the uh, quetzal. So you can pick go and take them to a taming pen somewhere else if you'd like. Early game, you probably don't have that choice if you're trying to hit level 100 fast. So you may be wanting to do sheep and get raw mutton, right? Well, it's 113 raw mutton and it takes 3 hours and 31 minutes to tame them. About 3 hours and 32 minutes, give or take. But here's the cool part. Thylios actually like cooked meat better than raw. So if you give them cooked prime meat, it's 81 cooked prime meat. I think we got them asleep. Alright. It's 81 cooked prime meat right in 2 hours and 31 minutes. If you use cooked lamb chop, it's 60 cooked lamb chop in an hour and 52 minutes. So if you can find a sheep early on, kill it, cook its meat, it'll be great for taming the uh, thylacolios. All right, and just like with the RG, then you can go ahead and put the uh, two spiked walls on each side to keep them safe, especially in the redwoods, lots of dangerous stuff here. All right, so now we got our spiked walls down. And now you don't put these down in the beginning. One, you won't be able to walk out. And two, if the thylaco starts biting them, it'll kill itself. So that should keep it from getting hit. And now we just have to wait for the, uh, the taming. Put our berries on it, keep it asleep. Right, so keep in mind the intervals I told you earlier in the video. Uh, 18 minutes to drain a torpor. And then you need 928 berries for the first refill, or 174 for the second refill. You're going to need, if you're doing raw meat, you're going to need about 2,233 narcotics, or 7,619 berries. So you're probably going to want to do this somewhere where you can bring your uh, berry gather along with you and just gather the berries as you go. And now you've gotten your first thylacoleal, and that's all there is to it. If you enjoyed this taming guide, smash that like button. Have an awesome day.